Hi everybody, here's Christian from Team More Cast. And I am Wotan, the Lord of the Dance. Mm, Wotan, why are you so difficult to res? <laughs> First turn Wotan, what? <laughs> something Nick is experimenting with, but not something they're going to see today, because today we are, uh, well, we are at the regionals yeah. in Dusseldorf. These are good players, not like me. <laughs> well, at least one of them is a good player. Uh, I'm on the right, on wow, the other hand. Christian, you're speaking so highly of yourself. Yes, uh, I am on the right, and uh, the other guy is on the left. It is Anton, uh, also known as Agenda, and uh, it is the 10th of May. What does and that so, What does that name mean? Uh, it's the plural of uh, of agen Agenda. Oh. I think. Uh, so what are the identities today, Nick? Well, it looks like Haas Bioroid. Is that stronger together? No, that's engineering the future. Engineering the future. I, how can you even tell these things? I, anyway, and you are stronger together is white. Well, that's okay. I, I, I was trying to hide. Also, nobody plays stronger together. I like stronger it's together. I, I, so do I, but nobody plays it. Oh, and you are silhouette, a badass ah. bitch from the opposite side of the galaxy. I am Rihanna. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> here to. I'm here to. Uh, to whoa! Look, <laughs> there's some card that just exploded out of my hand. You, I'm taking a mulligan. You are taking pictures of yourself on Instagram. Yeah, and also I'm here to beat up Chris. Yes, Chris. Uh, Chris Brown. No, uh, HB is getting a uh, credit for every install, and um, Rihanna can expose a card when the first time she gets into HQ every turn. Ah, yes. So, yeah, we're talking about that I often get paired against uh, early on against uh, good players. This is yet another good player that I uh, afterwards I saw in the top eight, I think. So, yeah, this will be interesting. He plays a hedge fund. A uh, hedge fund. Beanstalk accounts. HQ. Be Beanstalk! People, people told you that Beanstalk is not the best. Beanstalk is amazing, and I don't care mm -hmm. what people have to say. Hey, Beanstalk is okay. It's okay. But, you know, hedge fund is better for when you start out, right? Because you have five monies and then you get four monies and so you get nine immediately. Oh, look, um, uh, Anton has installed a card in the server. So, all right, I'm running on this new ice. It is, it is in Eli. Huh. You're going to click through it? Come on. Just click no, on through. No. I, I, I'm not clicking. Through click us. on through. It's first run. That's what peasants do. It is maybe. Uh, all right, now I'm clicking through that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing an account siphon. I'm clicking through. I'm getting. Uh, I'm hopefully getting the money, and then I exposing the. No, I'm not exposing. He actually, as a re response, he uh, resed um, Adonis the campaign. Adonis campaign there. So he got rid some of some of his money, and now I, he's left with just six money. And I'm thinking about if I want to have the money. So I decided not to get the money. I decided not to trigger um, account size ability, but instead to, to get his card. Christian, we need to have a talk. I'm rolling way too high. We have a, We need to have a talk. When there are three cards, one mm. through three is the same as four through six. I, I cannot math. I cannot math. I, 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 One through look, three, four, look, five, six. There's too it's many programs installed in my brain running right now. There is just not enough room two, for, for your, your crazy rules. Two, one, two, threes. This is, come on. It's two, one, two. It's, it's okay. Anton plays another hedge fund. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore you. I'm just going to ignore you. <laughs> it's okay. I probably should have trashed Eve campaign there, uh, Adonis campaign there. But now it's not impossible anymore because uh, uh, Anton installs an ice in front of it to protect it, to protect evil doers to, from trashing so his much, sexy uh, hunks. So much money. you got to start getting that money away from him. I just tried, but he get rid of it. Mm. You can't get rid and of it now. And then he got it again. All right, so I'm getting out the Desperado, and I'm running on R&D because R&D is still not protected. Desperado. I see a Jackson Howard in his hands. Uh, uh, Anton has a very like a uh, sloppy way of handling cards. That's kind of like a c cool style he has going on there. Hey, have you noticed? Yes. Everyone it's has. Almost like he doesn't care. Well, somebody needs to put together a study on uh, CCG player etiquette. Yeah, yeah. Everybody has like different styles, different ways of shuffling, different ways of handling the cards. So yeah, I am. A, I just played a quality time and just gave him a good time. Uh, and that's probably the only thing I'm going to have in this round. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Fast best forward to an for. hour from now. Mm. No, no. Let's let's see. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm I'm about to. I'm about to figure things out. Cyber Gandalf looking over Eli there. Hey. <laughs> Cyber Gandalf is is looking a little bit. Uh, you know, he's kind of like. He's looking at Anton there, and he's like, "You know what to do, right?" Soon, soon our plan will come together. <laughs> soon. soon. What do you ha- think happened with Wotan's eye? It's just like uh, Cable's eye in the X Men. What happened with that? He got the cyber virus and. Uh, cyber virus? Is that an actual name? I, I can't. Yeah, I think so. All right, guys, we have uh, Jackson Howard on the table, and Anton is drawing cards like there's no tomorrow with Jackson Howard. And then he installs an ice in front of R&D. Now R&D is finally protected. All right, so I'm running on R&D now that it is protected. And he raises a wall of static. Man, now I can't remember. Ah, oh, jeez. What? What? Techno what? organic virus. There we go. That's what cyber it's virus. There's techno organic. I'm getting credit and I'm running a uh, dirty laundry on archives just to get the money. There's nothing interesting in archives anyway. Cable, the son of Jean Grey's clone and Cyclops. <laughs> Do you think the the runners have also like Professor X, who is like you know, telling them what to do, like Splinter, you know, like a guy who controls everything. <laughs> like Splinter, <laughs> you know, like a boss. There, you know? I'm really surprised there's no Cerebro um, references in this game. But there is. I mean, there's Blackguard. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's totally Cerebro. All right, so uh, Anton decides to protect uh, his uh, Jackson Howard because Jackson Howard needs protection nowadays. Evil runners are out to trash Jackson Howard. I mean, is this just a straightforward sort of Haas deck? It is. Uh, it's, I think it is a variation of the Red Coats mm. deck that, that we see going around, where it's building out those huge ice things where nobody can get in and then just scoring agendas normally. But I think it's a variation. So I'm playing a hostage. Uh, I'm, I'm getting something Katie? I need. I need, I need friends. Katie. Do you think it's Katie? I think it's going to be Katie. It's Katie. Yeah. So just today I ordered a Jackson Howard t-shirt. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Is it your Jackson Howard? Of course. Yeah, very nice. I, I went to a, like a t-shirt printing shop nearby and I created like a vector file because I needed vector files. You didn't EPS that? Oh, come on. You work in Photoshop. Mm. Why do you work in Photoshop? Because pixels are the best. <sighs> And because Illustrator is a horrible tool, if you're using Illustrator, you are an alien from space that has a brain that work, doesn't work like a human brain. Uh, all right, so I'm getting in a special order. <laughs> and a corroder. Uh, Hello. Get out of corroder. I really hope that something replaces the corroder so that we have something new to talk about. The problem is, like, when you replace something that, that if you take something that replaces Corolla, it has to be better than Corolla, and it's kind of difficult to something make something that's better than Corolla, right? Well, you could also create something that's as good as Corolla. I recently noticed uh, playing against you, <laughs> Nick, that uh, the um, the new the um, uh, the how does it, the central um, barrier breaker? What what's it called again? Uh, Crypsis. No, the one that, that goes only for centrals. Oh, only for centrals? Uh, yeah. Oh, gosh, I can't remember the names of them now. Anyway, Breach, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh, that one breaks a Heimdall very cheaply, <laughs> just for four credits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was pretty neat. All right, so uh, Anton decides to ice up uh, the server when previously was the EVE campaign. Uh, no, Adonis campaign. And then he puts a card in there and advances it at once. So I think it's probably an agenda. So I kind of have to go and look right now. So I got the money. F- no, I clicked Katie. Why did I click Katie already? I'm getting out the Corroda. Got the Corroda out. It's there. But I have now no money anymore. Where's, why did I click Katie already? I don't get it. I, I imagine you're going to just get two credits and call it a day. I don't know. So uh, no money. Look at all that nothing money I can he's do about got. This. All right, I do run 
with no money I run, I just force him to res, you know? <laughs> if it's like a Rota turret, I lose the Corroda. There's only one in my deck, by the way. This is the most manly I've ever seen you be. <laughs> it is an Ichi. Ichi, Ichi. Uh, is it Ichi? No, it's not an Ichi. It's Victor. Victor went one all. But I click myself through it, so it doesn't do me much damage, and it's uh, it's the end of my turn. He scores an efficiency committee, and now he is on his way to win the game. <laughs> that is, yeah. Because the thing with com efficiency committee is kind of like one of those like cards that do like those fast advanced tricks. Mm -hmm. With shipment from Sand Sand and stuff like that, so now he basically has like one other two point agenda or maybe five point agenda, a uh, three point agenda, uh, in the bank. In the bank, Nick. You don't have any money in the bank. Why are you talking yeah, about I, banks? I uh, uh, occupy Wall Street. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, toll I'm, booth. I'm, yeah, that's that's what we want to see. I run the R and D and see a tall booth. Nice, <laughs> nice. Each Katie click now is one time through the toll booth. Nice. There's toll booths. Uh, I hate toll booths, by the way. This is this has become one of the ice I hate the most. Like Heimdall, eh, whatever. <laughs> but the toll booth. Oh man, I hate toll booth. Uh, Heimdall, come on. He is a gentle soul. Even Wotan is not that bad. Well, you know, nobody has run on Wotan yet. <laughs> I've probably... Why, why would you run on Wotan? The thing is, like, with Wotan, you can negotiate. Like, there's some things you can do against all of those routines, right? <laughs> with all booths, you cannot renegotiate. Really Even if you approach it, you get, like, you lose three credits. Ugh. That's true. That's, that's the worst. Yeah, you have to play, pay, what, two clicks? You have to pay three... Trash a program and take one brain damage. Yeah, but if you don't do all of these things, it just ends the run. You know, it doesn't hurt you if you if you face check it. Yeah. All right, so yeah, he ices up R and D even more. And I play uh, quality time. I'm giving having, I'm having a good old time. I'm not getting into this fortress, but whatever. I'm just gonna I see an ah. inside job. I saw a deja vu. I'm just playing vu. Nintendo Wii. It's okay. Wii, Wii, Wii. -oo. Mario Kart 8 just came out. No, it's coming out in two days. It will come out soon. And, uh, well, it's the future. It is cyberpunk. I'm, I'm being retro. I'm being a hipster. <laughs> I'm playing the old games, you know. I remember when Mario Kart 64 came out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thinking around what to do. I drew I a lot of cards. in your hand. Yeah, but, uh, you know, I don't have the money to play Drugger Road. I don't know why I have so much, so little money. I don't know what happened there. You need to uh, do a dirty line to run on Archive. That's what I've and decided. And you, you need to maybe uh, take a nap. Yeah. Ooh. All right, I just get an iPad. <laughs> I was at the store, and I saw they had a sale. And I won't really play Angry Birds, so... <laughs> By the way, this is the original voice of Zulouette. <laughs> hey. <laughs> little, little did we know that she's actually a drag queen. Can you uh, give me a new iPad? <laughs> <laughs> ah, right, I'm doing laundry. Dir dirty laundry on archives again. Uh, money up a little bit. That's good. As a runner, you need money. Indeed, if I want to get the grody out, I need the monies. Meanwhile, Anton is just doing swell. Look at how much ice he is out. He is and look laughing. at his scores, another agenda. Hey, accelerated beta test. How about we see, you know, we activate accelerated beta test. All right, let us put some ice down. Two ice being put down. Let's see. Um, so, yeah, let's put out a... Um, um, hmm, what is that? It is, it is a glaring a little bit, but one of them is a Caduceus and the other one is a Heimdall. Ah, Heimdall. So now we have a Heimdall on HQ. Nice. <laughs> nice. Heimdall and Eli. I bet that center one is a toll booth. Even Eli is like four credits to break, right? <laughs> yeah. 
I'm, I'm, I'm excited for more Bioroid ice. You are a Bioroid fan. Yeah, I think I am. I, I'm trying to decide what identity I want to try next. I don't know. I've you, tried Genteki, and you know, Genteki, eh, whatever. You don't like Genteki. Hmm. No, I do like Genteki, don't get me wrong. It's just, you know, they they have money problems, and even though a lot of the stuff is... No, nowadays you can do like stuff like uh, Celebrity Gift. Yeah, that's true. Or me Medical Research Fundraiser. I have yet to try any of the NBN identities. Try some... Well, very popular right now is the... Um, the World is Yours, and then Biotech Labor, and uh, the Fast Advance of NBN. All right, so let's see about that. So I'm, uh, I'm playing Inside Job. I think what I want to do, actually, and I want to get into HQ. I'm skipping uh, Heimdall, and there is a quandary and it stops me. Nice. I, I want Blue Sun. It, I'm, I'm just, I'm just not having. It just, I'm just not getting in today for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever I do, I'm just like, yeah, nope. See, this is why Haas Bioroid is fun. Because you get these massive ice walls, and all the runner can do is just sit there and look at this wall and scratch their head going, how the hell am I going to even get through this? I all right, I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of the Gordian Blade. Come on, we kind of have to deal with this ice somehow. We, get, we figure this out, guys. We figure this out. This is a head scratcher. Biotic labor, and do we see another agenda? I think so. Ah, uh, yes, another. No, this time uh, Gila Hands, Arcology. Or Gila Hands, I don't know. Yesterday, I encountered the most confusing piece of ice, or not ice, uh, uh, agenda that I have ever dealt with. Which one was it? It was, uh, oh gosh, now I can't. It's the Haas Pet Project. That's great. You're just creating yourself. What's confusing about it? Uh, I didn't know how to deal with it in um, Octagon. <sighs> well, in real life, it's pretty easy. And uh, Gila Hands or Call of Duty, of course, also very easy. You just click it twice, and then you get a lot, a lot of money. And it's actually, I think, it's a little better than um, because it seems it's, it uh, reminds you of. Uh, uh, what is it? Melange Mining Corp? But I think it's a little better because you still have one click left. Yeah. That turn. But I mean, and you with can, nobody can trash it all also. Melange you get seven. So for three, you're getting seven yeah. as opposed to it's, two it's, for three. It's better, but then you cannot do anything that turn. You, sometimes you, there's just one like maintenance thing you need to do, like install some ice somewhere or stuff like that. And with Melange Mining Corp, that's kind of like out of the question. That's true. All right. So he, he actually uses uh, Gila Hands and he clicks Gila Hands. And yes. He is a filthy rich right now. Filthy rich, covered filthy in rich. ice. Yes. Thinking of Wotan. <laughs> Thinking like, like winking to the to handle over there. <laughs> So what will I do? I, there's some discussion going on with the table next to us or something like that. Not exactly sure what. So uh, yeah, um, what do you think is are my chances right now? I have four credits. I have there's some credits on Kitty Jones. I think within the first two turns, you lost any chance you had to actually win. Why do you think so? He had what, what so much money. He stopped hmm. your account siphon. Yeah, the account siphon, early account siphon stuff was really bad, and also like I probably should have he, uh, trashed um, Adonis campaign. Yes, I think that those two mistakes are the things that cost you this game. But honestly, with the amount of ice he has out and the, how little money you have, I think he would have recovered, and you would still be at the same spot. Mm hmm, possible. But you know, what what did I do wrong? Did I play wrong, or is my deck wrong? Oh no. Who knows man, such things, Nick, man. what is up with you? Get some sleep, sweet Jesus. <laughs> you understand, man. <laughs> Get it. 
Mm. All right, so I think we are back in the game now. We are back in the game. I am thinking what to do. There is, it's really tough, tough situation right now. There is, it, there doesn't seem to be like a good, like you know, point where I can do an attack. I, also, the fact that um, Jackson Howard is still alive is also kind of like really bad. <laughs> but you know, there is another ice there, and I don't want to fa face check yet another ice. Mm -hmm. It's really problematic. Well, I can see sure gamble in your hand. Yeah, I, I could like click maybe and get a sure gamble. I don't know. Sure gamble, Garot. But then I'm out of money again. Uh, that's true. Well, it is sure gamble, of course. Very good. Very good. And what else? Second click, getting out the same old thing. Now you can count siphon. <laughs> yeah, if, if I get through Heimdall yeah, and all that stuff. I'm clicking Katie. And he installs another card. Man, he's just uh, setting up a tempo. And, and he yeah, wins. I think, and he wins. It's like, whatever, it's, dude. It's uh, it, That was the game that really frustrated me the most. I mean, it was a very good game. He played very well, but it's like I felt like I had no, you know, no impact on him whatsoever. He just did his thing. And the best thing is like the worst ice hasn't been even rest. <laughs> yeah, I think that I would have, instead of running the account siphon, I would have taken out the Adonis campaign hmm. and then account siphon later. But the thing is, the Adonis campaign, um, I didn't knew that it was an Adonis campaign. I thought it was a, a, J a Jackson Howard. Ah. Uh. And I could have uh, taken taken it out, uh, you know, after the account side. Yeah, I think because that would have at least slowed him down because he completely taxed, tapped out the uh, Eve campaign, didn't he? Or Adonis campaign? Yeah. Well, he he couldn't have rest, but I didn't knew that. Of course, he couldn't have rest the um, um, toll booth. So yeah, so we are moving on to the second game. No. Now he's playing your favorite noise. What is noise's ability, Nick? Noise is uh, a guy who is extremely popular. People play <laughs> him school. all the time. He's sort of like he's sort of like a goblin deck in Magic: The Gathering. <laughs> You're like it doesn't really take a lot of talent, you know. <laughs> it just says in the card, goblin gets better with more goblin. And so you take a noise deck, and you just throw a whole bunch of words that say virus in there, and then you win. I would like to present a different alternative to this perspective. <laughs> or, or like in Hearthstone, you're like, oh, I, I get a special murloc if I unlock all the murlocs, and there's murlocs that give murlocs other murlocs. Oh, That's not how it works either. It is. Uh, so his ability is that um, the cop has to trash a card from R&D every time he plays a virus. <laughs> and I am playing cerebral imaging and uh, my hand size, is maximal hand size, is equal to the number of credits I have. Uh, 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 <laughs> I was going to say Grendel, but it's Harmony, isn't it? It's Harmony. I'm sorry. Uh, cerebral Harmony? No. Cerebral imaging. Harmony Medtech. I'm still, or no. Harbor Magnetic is a completely different kind of identity. It's not the identity we're talking about. I'm Nick. lost in my blind rage toward noise. Nick, I think you need a diesel or two. I do need a diesel or two. Oh, man. That was so good. All right. All right. So let's let's see how this goes. Maybe the, as a corporation, I have a little bit more chances here. And also, he's playing noise. That's not a typical thing for, you know, somebody high profile in a tournament for doing. Typically, you see a lot of Andromedas, a lot of, like, shapers. But, but noise? Wow. Reina Roja, that's who we need to see more of. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait for that a little bit, I think. The good old mill decks. I wonder if they ever released like a king or queen Kaisa. That would be nice. Yeah. I had expected it with uh, all of the uh, King Arthur type stuff that's coming in the next one. Why not have a king or a queen Kaisa? Mm, that would be good. Alright, so I'm playing uh, Hedge Fund and I am. In the starting an ice in front of HQ because I don't want any any filthy things happening with my HQ. Good job! Jesus, Nick, sweet, yet again. 
<laughs> so I'm, I'm worried about you. Oh, I have just I have been writing a paper uh, about a citizen science initiative that I'm on. All right, All right Anton is uh, bringing out uh, oh. Sahara Zara Sa- Sahara Zara Zara. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Sure, so yeah, I guess, and then an imp, and then he runs on R and D and finds a three point agenda right there. Uh, Prior to <laughs> requisition, <laughs> good job. Ru- yeah, that's that's just my luck. That's not Charzadi. Sahara, 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 Sahara. It's, it's like Königs Egg. Like like English people cannot cannot spell Königs Egg. It's the same thing. Oh, it's Sahara. Sahasra. Sahasra. Yeah. Sahasra. Yeah. Sahasrara. Yeah, that's right. There we go. We together Zahasrara. we have accomplished the impossible. Zah- whatever. I'm playing a pr- <clears throat> something very, very so- much easier to pronounce, uh, which is restructure. <laughs> if people have comments about my philosophy about noise decks, I, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is not uh, completely uh, master of his mind right now. No, no, no. Right, I, I'm uh, psh, Nick. I'm playing Ichi One, but no. Oh, Ichi One. This, this is important because he face checked it. Mm-hmm. So he clicks all the way through it, and loses his entire turn to see one card. Good job, good job. That's what you want. So, so this Zahara Zahara card is actually quite unique uh, because I haven't seen played p- before. But apparently, you can use like two credits to install programs. That's pretty sweet. Like two recurring credits. Mm-hmm. So ice, ice, I, 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 ice up. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm having problems myself. Uh, um, archives. So because you know he's nice, he will trash a lot of cards, and I want to protect my archives. And I'm playing, of course, a blue level clearance. I think the most interesting thing about this card is that you can't override it. You, like you can't in- use its credits to install something that you then t- delete it with. Which I find inf- a baffling rule. Why? I think that the, it makes sense. You can't overwrite something that is in use. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, that's the fundamental uh, rule he, of computing. He runs on uh, HQ and he finds a hive. And then he plays a Aesop's Pawn Shop. Wow. That's some interesting cards from the core set that he just found. So he can trash <laughs> stuff. And get money from this. I play a hedge fund. So at least this way he can actually take the Saha Shrara and trash it for more than the credits it would have had given it. I think this will be for something that we'll see in the future, but uh, it will be an interesting it's development. It's almost as if you were there. Huh? Because you what? know the future. It's almost as if I already saw this game. It's almost as if I already played this game myself. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, we see a data soccer to- um, thing. And I have to trash another card. A lot of cards being trashed. I'm not really liking this kind of trashing business. It is a uh, subliminal messaging I just trashed, so I reveal it. So there is no confusion when I get it back on my hand again. Subliminal messaging. So I actually get the subliminal messaging now. This guy is just and on a different again. level. Well, he's not so far. He didn't do much. He just rested a couple of my eyes, and I'm you know I have some time to build stuff up. He has some data sucker. He has imp. Mm-hmm. He trashed a card with my with the imp. And, but the Sahara Sahara is is weird. That's, I haven't seen that. All right, I'm playing restructure. Let us get some two cards from my archives back. Or three cards back from uh, my archives, uh, my discard pile, and I'm getting back the restructure, so I can play them again. Yeah, I haven't played enough. I think I haven't played. I haven't restructured this company yet enough. You know, this company needs more restructure. <laughs> Google just brought out self-driving cars. I need self-driving people. <laughs> self-driving people. Because that's what restructure is. It replaces your, pe- your people with, with robots. Mm. He runs on archives, but he just finds an Eli 1.0, and that stops him dead as well. Ah, Eli. Eli, Eli, Eli. All right. 
uh, we had to get rid of the restructure because it was still lying around there. No, oh, the thing that happened that that uh, Octagon takes care for you. I know. When I finally start playing in the real world, I'm going to sit there and say, what? I have to do this by some... <laughs> no. All right, we see a Kuroda getting out, and I'm just, you know, okay, trashing out the card. Wait no, a minute, that's not, that's not, not a, virus. a virus. Damn you, past Christian. I, 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 it's it's a pink pink card. I, for me, like, all pink cards are viruses. <laughs> I expect always the worst. It's not Crypsis, though it should be. Right, I'm playing another restructure, getting monies. So one thing about Aesop's Parn's shop is that you don't ever mention Aesop's arm. Aesop's Pawn shop. <laughs> oh! I would love to visit Aesop's Pawn shop. Uh, all right, so he plays. Uh, th there he goes. There, there goes the the master. The 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 play. Ooh. It's white slide. Wow, taking a walk so on the now, wild side. So now he gets lots of cards every turn, but he has one click less. When so he will be just you know force feeding himself cards and just playing them like a, like a madman. <laughs> and of course he has Ace of Pawn Shop there to get rid of wild sides when he doesn't need it anymore. I'm just playing another restructure. I'm manning up like madman, and then I'm playing a hedge fund, even more madman manning up going on. Now I'm at 25 monies. Now I probably should, will be doing something soon, I would, I would assume. He needs to find every copy of Account Siphon in his deck right now. I don't think he's playing Account Siphon. I'm not sure. I know. But if he did, oh man. <laughs> Maybe he's playing Bamp. Hmm. But then he would have enough more money than I do, and he he only has ten money. I see a deja vu in his hand. Yeah, he's the, the sloppy way in, <laughs> he's he's holding in cards is really good for us. We can see it immediately, you know, what, what kind of stuff he has on his hand. All right, so he gets a blast greet. Smart thing. We, just last turn, I lost to a cerebral imaging deck that uh, had blast greet. So it's probably a smart thing to, to pop, poop one out in between. Just the other day I did four brain damage to somebody and they still won. <laughs> it's also possible. Uh, did they face check uh, uh, Janus? Yes, they did. <laughs> All right, so we see a clone chip. And, uh, and then it's my turn. And there were no runs, so I'm doing like fiddly things with the... You know, that's what I really don't like as a, about subliminal messaging. It's just so fiddly. Yeah, you have to remember it. There's so much that you have you, to remember. You get it, get it. You have to get it out of archives and put it in there again. And you, oh, may, you have to make like a third pile in your archives for, you know, you have the pile for hidden cards, the file, uh, the pile for not hidden cards, and the pile for the subliminal messaging. You know, it's like your archives getting so complicated. But it's it's a good card. I mean, you get a credit every time they don't run. That's good. Free credits. You don't even have to click it. <laughs> I'm just drawing up cards. I need the right cards. I I, I haven't. You know, again, Data I don't have so much. Wow. Uh, Data Sucker has been deinstalled. Interestingly, he has to figure he. he he won't be do running too much. Or that's not a gin, that's a medium, isn't it? Oh, he actually sacrificed the data sucker to Ace of Pawn Shop, yeah. interestingly. And he's playing another uh, Shore Gamber. I, I find it fascinating that you guys over there in the Germans just shuffle your hands constantly. I've never seen that in my entire life. Everybody does that. Come on, have you watched some kind of high-level play in this run? Everybody shuffles. Oh, is like that why man. they do it? Because there's yeah. the pro players and they do it? Yeah, like in uh, Magic especially. In Magic people are like, you know, like as if they have some nervous tick or something. It's like everybody shuffles all this time. Man. I don't know why. I, 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 it's good that I never learned to shuffle very well, because <laughs> probably I wouldn't do it otherwise. It just, for me, it's like, oh, awkward, cards flying around and all, all. So I don't do it, so I just put my deck, you know, by side. Anyway, so I'm, you know, filthy rich right now, 27 money. So, so you man. actually have a thing that you could shuffle when it's like three cards and you're like, you're not really doing much there, buddy. <laughs> man, I could do like, a, you know, like this flaring shuffle on the, on the thing. All right, so I'm playing archive memories to get something back from my, from my archives. It was a... 
It's an agenda of some kind. Maybe I rescued the agenda. That's, that's actually a good, that might have been a good use for archive memories. Still looking for that one card that um, would allow me to score out of hand properly. I think I don't even have uh, the problem I had. So that's the problem with serial imaging. We don't see my hand, so we can't see why I'm making the decisions I'm making. But I think I was missing um, a second biotic labor for uh, to score a... Um, what's, what's the name again? Um, biotic labor? No. No, um, efficiency committee. Yeah. He in instead installs a uh, parasite on my hive. So now the parasite is eating slowly away, turn by turn, at the hive's strength. Hmm. Qu kind of a slow game. Yeah, but it seems as though he's just building towards something. Well, he's also milling me like you know very hard. He, every time he installs, like when he installed a parasite, I also had to discard a card. Yeah, that's so he's true. really disturbing my um, disturbing my um, my game plan there. He gets. Um, did he discard it or did he actually play it? He he played discarded it right because he's getting like he's being force fed through um, through a wild side like so hard like he he doesn't have the time to play all the cards. That's kind of like the idea of, of Wild Side. All right, Biotic Labor. Now, finally, I'm playing something. Biotic Labor. And looking for <laughs> so many cars there. Second Biotic Labor. Yay! And now, Efficiency Committee. Finally. Ah, nice. You have done Scoring it. Scoring Efficiency comedy out of hand with two biotic labors. It is quite of an expensive thing, but I'm think. Oh yeah, I'm also using this shipment from Sansan San to make things a little bit cheaper because otherwise it's a little bit expensive. It's still very expensive. So how do I much do I pay? Eight for the biotic labors and uh, two more for advancements, and then uh, I, I save two because of shipment from Sansan. San. So in ten credits to score this one. Imagine a parasite on a Wotan. That parasite would be eating quite a long time. Yeah, you'd wait until I had nine tokens, and then you just purge all tokens. <laughs> you could also use a um, search, like he is using right now, or you could use a data sucker. So he used search to get more uh, more parasite uh, various tokens on his parasite to eat completely all the way through hive. So now HQ is way exposed. He gets out uh, even a data sucker, and he runs. Does he run on HQ? Yeah, he runs on HQ. So now we have the thing where you run on HQ and serial imaging. <laughs> Pick a card of all those those twenty, and he uses imp to trash my archive memories. Man. All right. So I'm, you know, I'm still behind in in terms of points. I'm at two points. He's at three points. But I think I slowly stabilized. I'm slowly stabilizing, and I'm uh, I'm trying to figure out how to how to finish up this game before he uh, kills me horribly. And of course, my HQ is wide open now, so I have to pick one of the thousands of eyes I have to um, to set it up there. What a gigantic hand that is completely unprotected. Uh, I decide instead to do like a blue level clearance. I guess maybe I will draw better eyes if I get the two cards. But I also get, of course, five monies. But it costs uh, two or three? Three, I think. And two clicks, of course. One click left. This will have to be an ice install. Right, Christian? Right, Nick? <laughs> I hope so. I can only hope so. Otherwise, I am jumping through the screen. I think this will be a Victor 2.0, which I installed there. I am actually looking looking at Victor 2.0 now. And I think that's a good card there. <laughs> oh, I think it wasn't Victor after all. Good job. I'm not exactly sure. Not exactly sure, but we will find out soon because I'm assuming that uh, Agenda or Anton will do run soon on this. So he uh, sacrifices Imp to uh, Aesop's Pawn Shop. Ooh, table. And he gets out a Jin. Jin is not a virus, so I don't have to trash anything. 
Correct. But I'm doing some some uh, maintenance there at my archives because there's a lot of stuff going on about my archives. <laughs> Look how many things are in my archives. So oh. much. Uh, he's what, what is he doing there with the? He's thinking about the click. All right, he's 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 choosing things. All right, he's playing. What is that? Oh, it's a ha hemorrhage. 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 Yeah, he gets tokens when he runs, and then he can use two tokens for to make me trash one card from HQ. Ah, okay. And he runs on archives. And he finds a card in there, sadly. Another two-point agenda. One that I couldn't rescue. Mm. He finds an efficiency committee, so it, he's at five points now. He, uh, The next agenda that he scores, if it's a two-point agenda, he will win. And I am still, uh, still at, at two points. All right, archive memories. I am looking for something in my archives. <laughs> Certainly a very you know wide area to look for things to recover from right now. What would you what would you get? Nick? You're going to get that and then you're going to get your uh, biotic labors back. Do you recognize the card? Mm. Uh, I recognize the picture but I can't remember what the name of it is. It is reclamation order. It costs two clicks, and you get uh, all of the cards of a certain type from your archive. So I can get back the two uh, biotic labors I each spent. And, oh, it's actually uh, a robot construction line. I thought it was like some sort of weird fence. Yeah, it's like robots. Like robots are defective, so you get them back. You know, yeah. your reclamation order. Yeah, those those two biotic labors. They were the. They were. The, we have to get them back, guys. It's. Uh, there was something wrong with them. He instead plays a plays a grimoire, a console by the by the anarchs. We gotta go back. We need to fix those robots, Nick. We need to fix them. We gotta go back to the island. Those Google cars are making all the accidents. Wow, he plays it. It's another weird thing. Uh, this one is uh, what is it again? Oh, that's a nerf agent. So that's kind of like a medium for HQ. So every time he runs yeah. an H HQ, he will get a token on it, and that will let, let him access more cards on HQ. Certainly something very effective for you know for my huge hand size. He can you no know, all those tokens tokens can really pay off, but only if it gets on HQ. All right, so I'm doing my uh, subliminal messaging shuffle thing again. I guess the nervous twitch when I first started playing CCGs is that we would put our decks on the table and not look at them. What? We just put them on a, on, on the table. Like, we didn't the, care. The, the hands. All. Yeah, our hands. We just yeah. put them on the table and, and wait impatiently yeah. for the other person. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right, so I'm playing uh, Biotech Labor and I'm scoring out another Project Vitruvius. Ah. So I'm at four points right now and he's at five. Another parasite. Vitruvius, Vitruvius. All right, he runs on HQ now. So now we're gonna see what I what kind of eyes I put there. Ah, it is an Ichi. Ichi, Ichi it wasn't a victor Ichi. after all. He clicks through Ichi. Uh, but he takes. Uh, he just removes the uh, you know kill program subroutines. He doesn't remove the uh, get uh, brain damage and token subroutine. So he, I, I don't, uh, don't in increase the strength of the trace, and he pays for the trace one credit. Not very strong, and he finds a three-point agenda in my huge hand. <laughs> Look at this! I had, I had three agendas, uh, four agendas in my huge hand, and he found one of them, and it was the three-point agenda that he found. <laughs> 
but you know that's that's a good lesson when you're playing against cerebral imaging just run on the hand i mean if, if the, the chances are low but you might get lucky and it's a good it's probable that there are agendas on the hand if if you're playing cerebral imaging no kidding considering how many cards are there i'm really surprised that you didn't protect yourself more yeah, I probably that was a mistake I did, and he shows me like what 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 kind of things he could have done later on. So I think uh, you know I had some a lot of ice on my hand. I probably should have put up a lot of more ice defenses, but I was too busy you know doing my you know uh, restructures and biotech labors and stuff like that to uh, to take care. The, the ice defenses were a bit too too minimal. I think I should have been should have been more. I think more ice. importantly, you did not hack the planet. Hide the planet! Hide the planet! Shut up and get in the car! Shit on me.